fourth Sunday in Lent. Here we are, and we find ourselves in Luke chapter 15. Uh, this is the parable of the sheep and the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the prodigal son or the forgiving father. And we just get to, uh, on Sunday, we're just going to hear about the parable of the, the prodigal son and the, the uh, forgiving father. Um, but it's really interesting. We also get three verses right at the very beginning. Now, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners, and he eats with them. I find it kind of interesting that throughout Jesus' ministry, it seems like the crowd that gathers around him kind of changes. At the very beginning, you've got well, you, you've got the crowd of normal people too, but the Pharisees and the scribes and all of them, the religious leaders, they want to be right next to this Jesus because this Jesus is getting a huge following and he's speaking these amazing things that, that make him think, but also set him on edge because he's saying things of the gospel that they don't like. But you also have people in the crowds and the synagogues that are kind of tentative. And they're not really sure that they want to hear this new teaching of Jesus because what they're used to is a teaching of power. They're used to the teaching of the Pharisees and the scribes and the Sadducees and the chief priests. And it's this law, right? It's this proclamation of the law and law only, this works righteousness over and over and over. And now you've got this new uh, rabbi coming in, Jesus, and they're thinking it's just going to be this, uh, the same stuff. And Yet it isn't. He, he teaches as one with authority. And this authority is this authority to forgive sins. He's not just coming with the power of the law to hammer you, but he's coming with this authority to forgive sins. And so now we've got these, these scribes and tax collectors and sinners who are clamoring around to hear Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is speaking about the forgiveness of sins and they know that they're sinners. And the scribes and the Pharisees, they hate it. Because they think they're all puffed up with this self-righteous stuff that they can climb their way to heaven. And how dare Jesus receive sinners and eat with them? How dare he? And, in that, and yet, that's who Jesus came for. That's the only one that Jesus came for, for the sinner, for the one who needs salvation. And then he goes and he tells these three Parables, one right after another, this lost sheep, and it's silly that the shepherd would go and find this lost sheep when 99 good sheep are right there, but no, that's our Lord. He's going to do the ridiculous, and he's going to go find that silly sheep. And then that lady with the, with the lost coin, she searches her whole house, and that's fine, but after she finds the coin, you would think that she would savor that coin and keep it, and yet she throws a giant party, probably worth more than that coin. To celebrate the fact that she found it. That's a silly, weird thing, but that's the backwardness of the gospel. And then, of course, we have the prodigal son, and we all know the details about that, how the son wished his father dead and uh, went out and just defiled himself beyond belief and then comes back, and this forgiving father rushes up to him and grabs him and hugs him and puts a ring on him and kisses him and says, you are my son, you always have been. That's our God. That's Jesus for you. That's the season of Lent. And we get to celebrate that. And we get to hear that each and every single Sunday. Thanks be to God. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.